Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the 1978 Dodge D-150 Adventurer Club Cab. Give it up. I know what you're thinking. This thing looks kind of like a, could be a base model or, you know, probably got some sort of slant six in it. And someone put some wheels on it. Well, it does have some wheels on it. It's got some newer Dodge wheels from like the early 2000s uh, Ram. However, this guy has a 440 cubic inch engine. So tons of torque, tons of power. Sounds good, runs good. Doesn't matter if it's cold or hot, fires right up. Nice little tunnel cover. Here's your gas door. Ah! Terrible with the camera here. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing and doing that at the same time. Uh, so for 78, I think we just popped the hood from out here. Let's go ahead and get that going. Bear with me one second while I get this open. Hey, it's done. <laughs> so, pretty stock looking uh, engine bay. You know, it does have a few little upgrades. Nice new plugs and wires, tailors. We got a Holly. Uh, carburetor on there. Looks like an Excel uh, coil. Does have AC, which it is working. Um, I think there's one or two things needed to make the AC actually blow real cold. Um, we're going to try to dig into that as we have time. But... It is cool to see these, the little valves where it actually shuts off the water from going to the, the cabin so it doesn't get hot in there. But it's pretty cool to see a stock 70s engine bay. Hasn't been all modified or, you know, emptied out and, you know, a whole bunch of stuff done to it. So beautiful green paint. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up how metallic this paint actually is. It looks really, really good. And that's a good looking front end for a truck. So once more, walk, walk around it real quick. The club cab gives you an extra uh, extended cab, I guess is what you'd call it. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got back here. Spare tire, that matches, thank you very much. Door panel's in really good shape. Interior's in really good shape. Oh, I know there's a lever here somewhere. It's a button. Just kidding, it's a button, not a lever. My bad. I know you Mopar people are like, man, learn your cars, it's a button. Uh, back here's pretty cool. We got uh, jump seats. So, you could actually ride back here if you had to, which to be honest, that's probably uh, more comfortable than riding in the back of some cars nowadays because cars suck. New cars suck anyway. So, <clears throat> all right, inside here we got oil pressure, temp. Feel like I just got stung by a bee. Uh, tachometer, your uh, voltmeter, voltmeter. Wait, what? Yes, both. Fuel gauge, clock, radio, which I think works. Oh, we'd we be seeking. What are we seeking for? Let's go. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, Bob. Bob FM. One more. He just starts saving with Navy Federal. Why you gotta be in that? Come on, I just wanna hear some jams. Anyways, Maybe radio works. Response to the vaccine. Okay, radio works awesome. Yay. I'm um, not real sure what this is. Cup holder, get your cup holder. There you go. Wipers, we do have wipers. Yay. We got oil pressure, coolant. It's, uh, it's only 180 degrees and I've just been sitting here idling for a long time. So, trans fluid temp. Let's go ahead and take this thing for a little spin. Uh, air is not quite getting cold. Now we saw the air compressor was running and we saw that the blower motor does work a little bit. It doesn't work the best, but 
we'll look into figuring that out here shortly. Uh, really, the only thing that I've been able to really complain about on this truck is that mirror was missing too. So uh, that's kind of an annoyance, but we'll have to find a mirror to go in there. Seems to run and shift through all its gears. I can hear a slight pulley noise, but I feel like it, it wasn't there all the time, so it'll go away. Might be just because I had the AC on. Come on, Sonata. Sonata, Sonata, Sonata. Get out of here. Such a cool looking hood. It's like a cowl hood, but it's not, but it is, but. The dash looks like it's in really good shape. It's a little bit of a mismatch between these two colors, but I'm sure there ain't nothing you can do about that. She gets it. Just enough, but she gets it. This is a good running driving truck. We're gonna go ahead and pull this one inside too. Um, don't feel like giving you guys the whole spiel. If you watched any of my other videos today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, come inside our showroom, check us out. We love to have customers walk through and browse and check out all the old cars. So, and we got uh, lights and high beam, low beam. This thing sounds awesome. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this walk around. Make sure you like comment subscribe I wonder how many times I could say that in one video what if I just did a video on a car and I just said hey what's up guys make sure you like comment subscribe and then that's all I said throughout the whole video <laughs> okay I'm done thanks for watching until next time